This problem says find the monthly payment for the installment loan if the amount financed is $500 and it's a 5% APR loan and there's expected to be 12 payments per year for three years. So when it comes to calculating the finance charge, uh, there's a couple different methods we can use. Uh, one comes from the table here. In this table of finance charges, the months that you borrow for are over here on the left column. So if it's a one-year loan, two-year loan, three-year, and so on, that's where we'd find that. The APRs are written across the top. So for our problem, it wants 12 payments for three years. That's 36 payments, 36 months. And it's a 5% APR, so let's just go ahead and circle those things. Okay, we want to just trace them over and intersect them. And this is what we're looking for right here if we use the table method. 7.9% uh, is how much we have to pay in interest. So 7.9% of what? Well, it's of the original principal borrowed. As you can see in this table, the longer you borrow for, the more the finance charge. So you have to pay more interest if you drag out the loan longer. Also, naturally, as the APR goes higher, the amount that you pay as a percentage of the principal is also higher. Uh, so as you can see here, if we had only had a 4% APR, we would have paid 6.29% in finance charge. But if we have an 8% APR, we have to pay 12%. Uh, uh, so let's take that 7.9% amount back here. And we'll write down uh, the finance charge. as a percent of the principal is 7.9%. Now we can change it into a dollar amount. How do we do that? We just have to multiply the 7.9% times the amount borrowed. Okay, so that's going to be 0 0.079 times 500 uh, that's going to give us Okay, now why do we have to use the table here? Um, because remember that this is not just unbounded growth. If this was an account of $500 initially that just grew without payment, then we could use one of the formulas um, for compound interest. The reason we have to use the table here is because the person's making payments on the account. So it's not quite as simple Instead, what's happening is we're calculating the amount of interest in the triangles. What the table tells us is that the interest is 7.9% of the principal. Okay, so we have to multiply that 7.9% times the amount borrowed, and these represent the triangles. Okay, so now we're going to want to find what is called a total installment price. A total installment price is when you add the principal plus the finance charge. 
It's everything that you have to pay back as a consumer of the loan. So it's going to be 500 plus 39.50, and it's going to be 539.50 that you have to pay back. Now remember, you only borrowed 500, so you have to pay back more. Now, an easy way to find the monthly payment is to simply take that 539.50 that we had just found and divide it by the number of payments that are going to be made. So, take your 539.50, divide by 36 payments. Fourteen ninety nine per month. And that is the answer to uh, A. I'll do another one here down below, but I'm going to calculate it in a little bit different way. This time I'll use the formulas to calculate everything. $4,000 is going to be financed with a 48-month fixed installment loan. The APR is 5%. Can you find the finance charge? So if you look back on one of the previous pages here, there's actually a formula for the finance charge. I could use that with the R value, the N value that's given in order to find the finance charge that way. Okay, let's try it. All right, so here's our formula. For this problem, we see that n is going to be 12. We're always going to use 12 for these problems because it's a monthly payment type of situation. So we're going to assume that the interest is compounded at the same frequency that the payments are made. That's pretty common. Uh, let's see, we're also going to have a r of 0.05 and when it comes to t we actually want to use time in years here so 48 months will be four years okay so that's the formula that we need to compute and plugging that into calculator can be a little challenging here uh, I'll write out how it should appear on your TI 30 x2s calculator Okay, that's how it should appear on your calculator. Um, we can multiply the two numbers in the numerator. We need a division sign. We have to put parentheses around that denominator. Okay, so we're going to start it off with a parenthesis, then do 1 minus parenthesis 1 plus 0.05 over 12, close that parenthesis, then we'll raise it to a negative 12 times 4. We have to close the original parentheses that had put our denominator um, into a group here. Uh, then the fraction will be completed, and at the end, we'll subtract 1. Let's see what we get. Okay, so it comes out as a decimal here, 0 0.1054. Now we're looking for the finance charge as a percent of the principal, remember, so this is actually 10.54%. All right. Now let's go ahead and just check out the chart just to make sure that it agrees. Now we would have 48 months and an APR of 5%, so An APR of 5% is here, 48 months is here, intersect them, and yep, there we go, 10.54% is correct. So now we just want to turn that into a money amount. And we can do this, uh, just take our 0.1054 and multiply by the amount borrowed, which was $4,000.
421.62. That is the finance charge. Our last task is to find the monthly payment for this loan. And this time, instead of just adding that to the principal and dividing by 48, I'm going to use the other method, which is a formula. If we can enter all this into our calculator, then we can bypass all the steps that are required in the other method. So let's go ahead and try that on a different page here. Okay, remember it is a $4,000 loan. The time of the loan is 48 months. The APR of the loan is 5%. And N will be 12 because it's a monthly payment situation. The formula for monthly payment is this. All right, so we just have to plug in Remember, you do have to put in your time in years, though. You can't just leave it in months. How should it appear on your calculator screen? OK, we could do that just to take care of the numerator. Then we need a division and a parenthesis. Got to close that parenthesis, raise it to a negative 12 times 4. And with the TI30X2S, you can actually stop right there and just hit enter. It'll give you the answer. But if we want to be complete and close all our parentheses, it'll look like that. The monthly payment comes out to $92.12. Now, just to verify that that is correct, we can check it with the other method that I had mentioned previously. That's where you take the 4000 and add the finance charge to get the total installment price of 4,421.62 and just divide that by 48 months. And you get $92.12. which is in agreement with the other formula method I've mentioned.